planetary neighborhoods. This is what we learned about this semester. We were shown pictures of five objects and asked what what would they be in our so, so, system. First a helium balloon and it was the sun. Then just a balloon which was the gas pl giants in the system. Rocks, they were the rocky plants in our solar system. And a hammer, that was, that was thought to be an asteroid. Then dry ice, which we were told that was a comet. Also, we learned what kind of um, uh, bodies these were, uh, the planets and the asteroids. So Saturn was a gas giant. The Jupiter belt was a rock and ice belt. Venus is a rock planet. The asteroid belt is made out of metal and asteroids. Mercury is a rock planet. Earth is a rock planet. Jupiter is a gas, gas giant. Neptune is a gas giant. Mars is a rock planet. Pluto is a rock and ice. And Uranus is a gas giant. We also find out what these were made out of. Saturn was made out of gas. Cooper Belt was rock and ice. Venus is rock and metal. Asteroid Belt is rock and metal. Mercury is rock and metal. Earth is rock and metal. Jupiter is gas. Neptune is gas. Mars is rock and ice. Pluto is ice and rock. And Uranus is gas. These are the objects in our planetary system, in our solar system. HR 8799 is a star very far away with four objects. Now that we know that there are four objects. Originally, it was only believed that there were, there were three. But now that we have found more evidence that there are four. But to even see these planets, we had to dim out the star a lot. Plants, the plants are a little bigger than our gas giants. The star is much bigger than our star of the sun. And much hotter. This is HR 8799 system. Here's a dialogue explaining our solar system from a teacher to the students. Hey, let's talk about our planetary system. The students say, okay, first we will use a used to do distance planets from the sun. Earth AU is one, which equals Earth to Sun. AU is equals astronaut units. Also, there is one star in our solar system, and it is called the Sun, right? Yes, that's right, says the students. We have nine planets in our so solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Sun, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. The students say, isn't Pluto a dwarf planet? The teacher says, yes, it is, but now that they have changed it back to a normal planet, the scientist. Almost every planet has one or more moon next to it. Jupiter has over 50 moons. The students say, whoa. The teacher says again, we also have asteroids in an asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is after Mars and before Jupiter. There is also another belt after Pluto. It is called the Cupiter Belt. Lastly, there are comets of the universe. They are like dirty ice balls. You can say, whoa, that's cool. And the teacher says, thank you, class. You are excused. This is our planetary system. This is our solar system. And the subject, planetary neighborhoods.